Hey guys, it's Monica here and I'm back. I'm gonna do a little different format today. It's not just going to be a vlog, but I'm actually diving into a topic that I freaking love. Like I just love this marketing channel so much. It is email marketing. For email marketing, we use Klaviyo. I am a Klaviyo partner. So if you ever have any Klaviyo questions, if you use Klaviyo, have questions, please, please leave them in the comments, reach out to me on social. I would love to see if I can help. So today I want to talk about post purchase flows. Before you talk about Klaviyo, I'm going to talk a lot about flows because it's literally like a free way to make money I think so you set up a flow it takes some time to build the strategy it takes some time to design the flow to get it set up right but once it's set up there's a little bit of that set it and forget it did you guys ever see that infomercial as a kid just me okay cool Anyways, so you can continue to do some testing. You can update creative along the way, but once it's set, these are just flying out. They're going to your customers. You're keeping that list engaged, which is what you want. So let's dive in to why I think, and I think some other people would agree with me, the post-purchase flow is so important. And the reason I'm talking about this today is because I've been working on revamping, if you will, the Morea post-purchase emails, and I'm loving how they're coming out. I also was doing a lot of this manually because we are a newer brand. I wanted to directly talk to these customers, hear what they are hoping that we can help with, and Sometimes you gotta do things that aren't scalable, but we're at a point now where I need to stop doing that because there are other things that are demanding my time. So I'm setting it up as flows. So I'm so excited about this and let's dive in. First, I really wanna talk about why this post-purchase flow is so freaking important. And I'm not talking about a order confirmation. I'm not talking about a shipping confirmation. I'm talking about the other value add emails that you are sending after a customer makes a purchase. I am talking with my hands a lot. My mom used to say that French people did that. <laughs> Okay, so reason number one that this is so important. A customer just spent hard earned money on your product. They deserve a thank you, not just a, your order's confirmed, here's your info. They deserve a like, oh my God, that means so freaking much to me. Another reason this is so important you want them to love what they just purchased, right? You wanna make a good impression, you want them to really enjoy whatever they just purchased from you. So what additional information can you provide to make their experience even better? You obviously take a lot of care in how it arrives to them, right? That's the unboxing experience. But is there something you can provide in terms of how they're gonna use the product when they should use the product that's going to make their experience even better. So a pre-unboxing guide to the product they just purchased. Okay, and lastly, you put in a lot of hard work to acquire that customer. You likely have spent some money to get that customer. So now you want to retain the customer. You've put in the work, you've spent the money, and they're putting it back in your bank account. So you don't wanna have to go out and constantly acquire new customers when you can also work on keeping the customers you already have. You want to increase their LTV and keep them around, keep them coming back for more. Creating a good experience is going to help keep that customer in your back pocket. Okay, so now that we've gone over the importance of this post-purchase flow, I wanted to dive in to a brand that I 
absolutely love, like love, I have their travel case sitting right here. Their post-purchase flow is so good. I have saved it as an example so many times. So this company that I'm talking about is Seed. They make a probiotic. Here you go. So this is their little travel case and they make a probiotic supplement. So they have a subscription model, which obviously they wanna keep people on their subscription. So they're being really smart about this. So if you have a subscription model, this is going to be a great example for you. If you don't, I still think that there's so much value in what they're doing that you could apply to your brand. So let's go ahead, dive into the emails that they sent and do a little tear down of what I'm loving about their post-purchase flow. Okay, so we are in my email inbox. We are going to, hold on, I'm just going to make myself a little smaller here. We are going to take a look at Seeds post-purchase emails. They have sent nine critical emails, not including the transactional emails, um, over the time period of from the date the product shipped to almost a month later. So let's take a look. The first email that I got um, right after the product shipped was this read before you seed email. This actually tells you how to take the product. So um, there are obviously instructions, ways to ease into this product. And I think that they do a really, really good good job at showing you how to do that, as well as making sure you know that if you have questions, they're there for you. So that email, super awesome. Love that. Then a day later, you get an intro to give you a heads up about what you're going to receive. So you purchase this probiotic, but do you know that you're getting this little vial with it? Here is an intro to your welcome kit. Four things to know before you start seeding. This gives you a little bit of information about them as a brand. They're really in, into sustainability. So they want to kind of share these brand levers, these important brand things with you so that you can feel connected to them. Again, they are reminding you of their acclimation process, of how you need to use the product. I think it's so important for us as marketers to remember that the customers don't open every single email, so you need to repeat yourself. If you are in a relationship, you know a lot of times people aren't listening. <laughs> so it's important and it's okay for you to be repetitive about the information you're sharing. And if they already know it, they'll just scroll past it. Totally good. But if they don't, it's so good to remind them. They're also pushing people to their other marketing channels, to Instagram, to their blog. And again, making sure that the customer knows, hey, we're here for you. Reply to this email. Like hit us up if you have questions. Your questions aren't bothersome. Okay. That's email number two that came in the day after the product ship. So we still don't have our product yet. And we're getting a third email. Um, how long was this after? This is confusing because I afforded myself these. Okay. Welcome to our ecosystem. This is a legitimate welcome from the founders of the company. Why they built the company, a thank you, a, like telling the customer that this is a huge step for them, which I think is so important. Literally making them feel like their purchase was worth it. So a really heartfelt note from the founders, hey, thanks, this is more about us. You can learn more here. Again, they're saying, if you have questions, hit us up. Customer care and customer experience is crucial to retaining your customers. So that's email number three. 
All right. So at this point, they are thinking that you have now received your order or you're about to receive it. Hey, have you taken your first capsule? Here's what's actually happening in your body while this supplement is being taken. They're going into the background. Science is important to this brand. And so they want to share all of this knowledge with you. Hey, probiotics, kind of a mystery. Why is this important? What's actually happening? What's up with all this acylophilia, blah, 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 in my body? So they are sharing all of that, the science behind each little tiny step, all the way down to your poop, um, and doing it in a really fun way. Once again, reminding the consumer, if you have questions on this, send us an email. Okay, so that was email number four, and we are moving on to email number five that was sent two days after the last email. So at this point, they're really thinking that you've probably received your product. And you probably have questions. So this is such a key email because let's talk about how many people email customer service with questions once they've received your product. And if you can expedite that process or eliminate customer service emails, even just one email, you are saving you and your team so much time. So they took their common questions, their FAQs, top five most commonly asked questions, whether they hear it on social, they hear it via customer service. This is why it's so crucial to talk to your customer service team about the questions they're receiving and integrate it in your marketing. All right. When will I feel something? Why daily? What if I miss a dose? They just basically broke down all the common questions that someone has once they receive the product, put it in an email. Genius. Hey, did this not answer your question? Cool. Send us an email. But this could eliminate so many customer service emails and save you time and money. Really awesome. I love that. Okay. They want people to be taking these supplements because then they're going to reorder. So creating a new habit, a new ritual in your everyday is hard. So they're sending a reminder. Hey, have you taken your two today? How are you feeling? How's it going? Uh, reminder, these benefits are going to come from you taking this probiotic. So take it daily. All right. So that is a great little bump. Um, now they're getting curious. Hey, this is what should be happening. Have you noticed that you're having better poops? Are you starting to see the benefits? Here's what it means. Let's take a look at your poo. Um, really fun, really inviting. I love that. Okay, getting, you know, it's probably been a few weeks, a few months, like, you got this thing. I know they explained it in the welcome kit email, but like, what is this? And why did we make this? Why is this important? Hey, travel, not something a lot of us are doing today, but this is why they made the vial. They're sharing more information on why it's important. They're sharing kind of their brand pillars, if you will, of we're sustainable. Awesome. Love that. And then diving even deeper, they are trying to share more with you about their brand. It's likely that if you are a seed customer, you give some kind of crap about sustainability and hey, they're not just a human probiotic company. They actually work with the bees. I'm sure a lot of people really relate to this, really find this super cool. So they're continuing to share their brand values by sending this email. That wraps it up for these nine emails that happened from the date of shipment to literally a month later. All right, guys, so that wraps up the post-purchase flow and us doing a quick teardown and review of what Seed is doing. I just think that their brand and how they present themselves to their customer is so beautiful and it makes me want to be their customer. 
So let me know if you're going to implement a post-purchase flow. Let me know what you sell and any questions or thoughts or ideas you have for your flow in the comment below. If you have any additional questions, please reach out. And of course, give me a subscribe. It supports me, it supports my brand, my work, and I'm happy to keep sharing all of these tips. I'd love to hear what you thought about this. So have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back soon.